Hey guys, it's Judy here with My Life as Geek Eye and welcome to episode number 7 in my How to Make Up for Beginners, a Back to Basics series. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to apply an easy, quick and natural two eyeshadow makeup look. <music> On this channel, I create videos on product reviews, makeup tutorials, and lifestyle advice with the aim to entertain, educate, and enrich the lives of others. So if you're new here, please consider subscribing. I would love for you to join the Geek Eye family. And if you're returning here to my channel, then welcome back. If you are following along here from last week's video where I talked about how to apply bronzer and blush, then this will bring us now to the next step in our makeup application, which is eyeshadow. I hope you guys are enjoying this series so far. If you have any feedback, questions, comments or concerns then please be sure to leave them in the comment section and I will get back to you. I really truly hope that you guys are finding this series helpful and informative and if you are then please be sure to give this one a thumbs up and subscribe before you leave if you haven't already. You can also follow me on social media, Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. All of them are Life as Geek Guy. Now if you want to go back into any of the other episodes in this series I'm going to leave the link to the playlist of this series in the description box down below so you can go back and forth and check out the different steps in this makeup application. Today we are going to be talking about how to apply a two eyeshadow makeup look. Before you go in with any kind of eyeshadow on your eyelids, you're going to want to have your eyelids primed. I do already have concealer as an eyeshadow base on my eyelids and I covered that in my how to apply concealer and cream contour slash highlight video in this series and if you have not yet seen that, I'm going to leave it linked up here. Whichever, still haven't figured it out, whichever side the card appears on the screen, go check it out. And again, I'm going to leave the playlist linked in the description box down below so you can go check out any of the other videos that have already been released at this point. So I already do have my eyelids primed with concealer and set down with powder. Before you go in with any eyeshadow on your eyelids, you are going to want a primer. But just remember that just because I haven't shown it in this video, you still do need to have an eyeshadow base for your eyeshadows to be able to sit and blend evenly on top of. And that's what I applying an eyeshadow primer will do for you. And so having said all that, I'm going to show you exactly how to use two eyeshadows to create an easy and natural eyeshadow look. Now for any eyeshadow look and application, I would recommend that you have at least these two brushes. What I use is the Morphe E23 brush, and this is a larger fluffy blending brush, and the Morphe M433 brush, which is a slightly smaller tipped blending brush. For this eyeshadow look, you are going to want two brown natural eyeshadow colors. One that is one or two shades darker than your skin tone and one shimmery shadow. For this look, I'm going to be using the Juvia's Place Nubian Eyeshadow Palette and be using these two shades right here. I'm going to be taking the larger fluffy blending brush, the Morphe E23, and I'm going to be taking it lightly into that deep brown shade. I'm just going to pick a little bit up and tap off the excess, and then you're going to want to focus this brown shadow on the outer part of your eye. Now, important to note is that you start by blending up your shadow. You don't go in ham with a whole lot of pigment because it's easier to blend up color rather than apply it all, in all at once, end up with too much, and try and blend it off. So I'm going in with light amounts of product at a time, and just blending it up on the outer parts of my eye and then when you open your eyes where the fold is that is called your crease so I'm going to be blending this shadow up into my crease as well but not taking it all the way into the inner corner of my eye I'm also using a very light buffing fluffing blending motions as the product dissipates from the brush I'm going to also begin to gently bring that shadow up a little bit further from the crease into the area that we call the transition so I'm going to be blending a little bit on the outer corner and then as the color dissipates gently fluff that brush up into the transition as well. I'm being careful not to bring that dark shadow all the way into the inner corners of the eye because doing that will close off your eyes and give it a very dark droopy look and unless that's the kind of makeup look you're going for, I'm going to go for it. But for this two eyeshadow makeup look, I'm just focusing the color on the outer part of my eye and creating the shape out here. created this shadow on the outer part of my eye. I'm now going to take the Morphe E33 brush and go into the same shade, but this time just 
focus that color just primarily on the outer corner of my eye and not bring it up into my crease or the transition. I'm just gonna focus that product right on the outer corner of my eye and very softly drag it into the center of my eyelid to create a bit more shape on the outer part of my eye. And so far, this is all just one eyeshadow. It's okay as well to just go back and forth between the two brushes and blend out any harsh edges. Now that I've got the outer part of the eye shape laid down, I'm now gonna go in with the God-given tools that we have, and those are our fingers. So I'm just gonna take my finger into this shimmery shade here. You can use a nice white shimmery shade, you can use a golden copper shade, but for this look, I'm gonna be using this nice light shimmery shade and using my finger to apply this on the inner corners of my eyelid. that shimmers apply a whole lot better with fingers as well. Now that I've got that shimmer laid down on my eyelid, I'm going to take that small fluffy blending brush, the Morphe M433 again, back into that same dark chocolatey brown shade and blend in those edges together just to ombre the dark shade on the outside into that shimmery shade on the center of your lid. Now taking that same fluffy blending brush back into that dark brown shadow, I'm now going to blend this out just along the lower lash line. And now I'm going to do the same on the other eye. of that same shimmer on your finger on the inner corners of your eyes as well to further lighten and brighten. I like to go in with a little bit of shimmer shadow and hit it right underneath the brow bone as well to make that arch really stand out. And that completes this eyeshadow look. Be sure to tune into next week's video where I show you how to apply eyeliner to help finish up this eyeshadow look. Just know that applying eyeshadow does not have to be scary. It does not have to be daunting. You can use your fingers. You can use two brushes and two eyeshadows. And you have a very beautiful, natural, everyday wearable look. It doesn't have to be complicated at all. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you found it helpful and informative, then please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. Ring the notification bell so you don't miss any other videos that come out in this series and the other videos that I put out three times a week. You can also follow me on social media, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. All of them are Life as Geek Guy. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for being here. I really truly appreciate that you've chosen to spend your time here with me today. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! Welcome to episode number... For this look, I'm going to be using the Juvia's... For this place, I... For this place. I think the Juvia... Juvia's... Juvia. It's Juvia. I'm going to very gently also bring that... I'm going... As... <clears throat> and gently and very softly... To the God-given tools that most of us have. And that... And those are my... And those are our... Feet.